Hello friends, welcome back to my video series on structural analysis subjects. Now in this video, I will just uh, give you some of the best books what I uh, refer on day to day basis to understand the concepts of uh, structural analysis. Now these are some of the, uh, uh, in this video I will give you some list of three textbooks which I refer on day to day basis to make my notes or to understand the structural concepts in a um, deep way. Now there might be many other textbooks what you people are referring. By looking at this video if you are referring any of the other textbooks uh, other than the which I have referred which I have told in this video please let me know in my comment section. Now one more thing uh, disclaimatory uh, mark what I want to give you here is since it is a lockdown period uh, you don't have access to your uh, libraries uh, the institutional libraries so you may find these textbooks the PDF co copy of these textbooks on the internet but I want to say one thing very clearly that please do not refer the PDF books please purchase those books please purchase these books these books will be very helpful for you in your future you try to refer any concept you come across any concept in your career in future these textbook will textbooks will help you a lot so since it is a lockdown period you don't have any access to hard copies or you don't you cannot buy them now so i uh, you can till that time you can refer the pdf copies of this but i don't prefer referring these PDF copies I am totally against that one so you should buy that and you should have your personal copies I am actually having all these personal copies but uh, uh, presenting that hard copies in the video may not be a correct one so I prefer uh, I have uh, given the PDF copies here uh, you, which you can refer I will not give you any link to this if you are able to find that you can find that uh, but I prefer you refer the hard copies of these books so let me okay let me start with the first one that is the structural analysis this is the latest edition uh, what I suppose by R.C. Hibbler this is one of the fantastic books to understand the concepts of structural analysis I will just uh, briefly give you the contents but before that you can see here some of the basic formulae he has given in this textbook in the initial pages like what is the maximum shear force bending moment and all those things then when I come to the contents of this you can see here what all contents that have been covered in this textbook are like he has also told how to use this book like uh, what are the example changes additional photos new problems what are the things which are there in this book organizational approach and uh, hallmark elements where are the photographs he has provided he has uh, properly given the copyright of that means he has referred from which where he has taken now he is also having instruction solution manual means whatever the exercise problems uh, which are given in this textbook uh, the solution to all those exercise problems you can get it from the instructor's solution manual some presentation resources are also there video solutions uh, right and resources for these are the resources for the teachers uh, that is instructors and uh, these are some of the res uh, resources for the students you can go through that in detail right now when I come to the contents part now what are the things he has covered he has covered like type of structures and loads he has started from the basics analysis of statically determinate structures then he has covered uh, analysis of uh, statically determinate trusses right then he has internal loadings developed in the structural members cables and arches influence line diagrams deflection of beams approximate analysis of statically indeterminate beams deflections using energy theorems okay then analysis of statically indeterminate structures by force method by moment distribution method displacement methods of uh, analysis by slope deflection equations beam frames having non prismatic members right uh, you can see vast, vast variety of uh, topics he has covered in this textbook. Truss analysis using the stiffness method, 
beam analysis using the stiffness method plane frame analysis using the stiffness method means he has already actually started from basics of statics like you can see here he has started from types of structures and loads and he has covered totally up to the matrix approach that is stiffness method not flexibility method the stiffness method matrix alg algebra for structure analysis these are some additional topics which he has given so you can see what is the quality of this you can see all these diagrams here uh, so nicely given to make you feel and you to make you imagine the things very clearly he has given some of the photographs also wherever possible to make you understand the practical applicability of the concepts or practical applicability of the structures which he is talking about right so many many good things are there in this book so anyone who is uh, studying structural analysis uh, must have this textbook as a hard copy right so coming to the next one it is the mechanics of materials by the same author that is rc hibler that, that this book was uh, the previous one was uh, uh, structural analysis by rc hibler this is the mechanics of materials um, some people uh, say this as a strength of materials also uh, in this when i see the same thing uh, how the contents are organized yeah now when i come to the contents you can see stress strain mechanical properties of materials axial load torsion bending transfer shear combined loadings stress transformation strain transformation design of beams and shafts deflection of beams once again he has covered the deflection of beams in this subject also energy method is also co covered in this buckling of columns these are some of the additional topics which he has covered so here also uh, same as the previous uh, book when you just see the content and organization of this textbook you can see it is uh, fantastically depicted all these diagrams so well uh, formulated formulae every everything is there in this book and you can see here this is one of the uh, additional feature of this textbook is like procedure for analysis how the procedure is there step by step procedure everything he has told i uh, means uh, if this kind of a color comes it is actually the procedure or the steps and you can see the diagrams how the solution is there how he has explained the solution in detail not only just he has given the calculations apart from that he has also explained how it is being done everything you can see the practical appl applicability and how to convert this practical structure into your free body diagram and how to proceed with the calculations everything he has given so systematically by even actually i feel like looking at the diagrams itself you feel to st uh, sit and uh, study this book a at least i feel like that so you might be having some different notion but i feel like that and he has also given some exercise problems now one of the peculiar things about the foreign authors is like they concentrate more on the concepts rather than so rather than on solving some Uh, 10 to 25 nu numerical examples so they concentrate more on the concepts and they try to solve one example from each concept and uh, they give lot of exercise problems they also have some solution manual for to those exercise problems also you can get those solutions manual also in the internet now the next one is yeah the next one is engineering mechanics of solids by igor p popo Uh, this is also one of the very fantastic book uh, which you can refer for uh, strength of materials or mechanics of materials or mechanics of solids what you can say this is also very good textbook this is actually i have a older version of this textbook you can find the newer version uh, which is available so here also the concepts have been cleared in detail and let me see if go if i go to the contents page i think i don't have the con yeah contents page is there very vast variety of topics he has covered right stress axial load safety then axial strains and deformation in bars then we have general hooke's law pressure vessels and thick walled cylinders then we have torsion then we have axial force shear and bending moment diagrams then we have pure bending and uh, bending with axial forces shear stresses in beams and uh, related problems transformation of stress and strain yield and fracture criteria means he has also covered the advanced topics also elastic stress analysis and design deflection of beams once again stability of equilibrium of columns like buckling euler buckling load energy and virtual virtual work principles 
then statically indeterminate problems. He has also covered many vast variety of uh, concepts from structural analysis. So these are the three textbooks I will give. Just give the name of these textbooks in the description. You can refer those textbooks. You can find the PDF copy of these textbooks in the internet also. But once again, I'm stressing you, please don't refer them. You can refer them for a time being, but you have the hard copy of these textbooks with you personal hard copy will be very much beneficial for you in your career if you want to study the structural analysis concepts very clearly in uh, without understanding the concepts uh, if you go to the numerical examples each and every numerical example will feel you will make you like you are uh, seeing this type of examples for the first time but if you understand the concepts clearly and when you can if you understand the concepts clearly you can do any type of problem so we'll see some more examples uh, or some more these type of videos in the coming sessions till then thank you bye